Welcome to Mission Works. Thanks to donors. I'm Dale Meyer. Today's topic is Our SEM Among SEMs. There are some 280 accredited seminaries and institutions of theological learning in North America. How do we compare to others? With us is Dr. Daniel Aylshire, longtime executive director of the Association of Theological Schools. Welcome, Dan, and please tell our donors, what is the ATS? The Association of Theological Schools began early in the, uh, the 20th century as a place for theological schools to get together, to discuss their issues, to look at the work and character of theological education. It grew into an accrediting agency by the mid part of last century, and it has continued to provide a re to do conduct research related to theological education, to provide education for theological education leaders, and to administer a program of accreditation of theological schools. I know from my 15 years as president here in St. Louis that it, the ATS has been just a phenomenal blessing in so, so many ways. And you especially, Dan, have, have blessed me and guided me as I learned my job. Are all ATS schools alike? Or maybe I'm actually asking, is Concordia different? Uh, Concordia Seminary is, is unique. It's unique in um, its, its deep connection to the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod uh, and its, it, it, its student constituency that's LCMS. It's unique in the in, uh, among Protestant seminaries of the percentage of its students who are, who are residential. And so that there is a community of worship and engagement uh, that doesn't exist in a lot of other uh, theological schools. It's unique in terms of its size. It's larger than most uh, uh, other uh, Protestant seminaries uh, in, in the United States and Canada. Uh, it's, it's unique in its, its capacity to do an educational mission that is uniquely suited to the needs of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Most Protestant seminaries may have a home uh, denomination to which they are affiliated and which they are seeking to be faithful to. But while they're being faithful to that, they're also trying to provide education for folks from 15 other uh, denominational families and trying to do that with integrity. That's very hard work. It, it, and it, 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 it provides for a general way of educating for ministry, but it, it, in a school that's so tightly related to a nomination, you have the capacity of, of educating in a very particular way for a particular uh, community of Christians. I have to confess that I've been naive most of my life and it was not until I became president that I, I came to realize how unique Concordia Seminary is. So thank you for that. Uh, we're speaking in this program to our donors. Is financial support a challenge for ATS schools? The, the long history, Dale, is that most Protestant seminaries were for the most part funded by their church bodies, that they're sponsoring church body. What's happened uh, over the last 50 years is that the percentage of the operating budget funded by the church body has declined uh, on a straight linear path. Uh, uh, and to the point that in many Protestant denominations, there's virtually uh, little or no uh, dominant church funding uh, for, the, for the institution. That means as a, education has gotten more expensive, the seminaries have had to look elsewhere for uh, uh, for income, for, for the revenue they need to accomplish their mission. And the, the most valuable uh, resource the schools have are people of faith who are committed to the education of religious leaders and the advancement of their community of faith, the donors to theological schools. The donors have not only replaced, the, the contribution of donors have not only replaced what the church used to give and doesn't anymore, they have exceeded uh, the amount 
uh, that the church ever has a percentage of operating budget of most theological schools. The schools don't exist without the support of individual donors uh, who through long-term gifts, through legacies, through current and active gifts, uh, support the work of these schools. I have to I have to verify that from my own experience here. Concordia Seminary St. Louis's annual revenue is about 90% dependent upon donations. Yeah. That might be through endowments, through immediate cash gifts, whatever. 90%. And as a result of that, donors, we guarantee tuition. You call it free, but it's not really free tuition. That $26,000 or so a year for a student's tuition is paid because of your generous support. So I, I thank you very much. Mission Works, thanks to donors, is the title of our program and how true this is. One last question, Dan. Why are you hopeful about the future of theological education in the United States? I'm hopeful because uh, I believe deeply in the goodness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that this Christian way of being in the world is as wonderful a way for human beings to relate to one another and the world around them, that it is a source of human flourishing uh, uh, from the abundance and goodness of God. And I don't think God is going to, like you and me, retire anytime soon. Um, and uh, the spirit will be active and it will call communities of faith, and they may be changing in the way they do the work, the way they order the work, but those communities are going to look to individuals for leadership, for teaching, for guidance, and there are going to need to be those environments that provide uh, the education for those leaders. It's always been that way in the life of, of the Christian church, uh, and there have been different models at different times so I am absolutely hopeful uh, that, that the gospel is going to continue to do its good work among us and uh, that communities of faith are going to look to persons to lead, to lead them, to guide them, uh, to teach them. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ailshire. Uh, it, it is a great time to be the church, and here it is a great time to be associated with Concordia Seminary. Uh, thanks to our Lord and his generosity but also thanks to you, our donors. Mission works, thanks to donors.